fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger on the trail ahead. Oh, Silver! Boy! There were several covered wagons in the line that headed west with food for the construction camp in Spring Valley. Keep a sharp watch now, guard. This is where we were told to watch for Redskins. I know. But how can a man keep a sharp watch with trees brushing both sides of the trail? Get along there! As far as I'm concerned, I'd sooner let the Redskins have the grub we're toting than to get captured or killed by them. Guard, this load of grub is powerful and important to the boys of Spring Valley. The last two loads were lost. Redskins? Right. I've heard that the boys are like to starve if the grub ain't delivered inside of a... Duck! Hold on there! This is it! Shoot it out! Drill the critters! riding men with painted faces leap from both sides of the trail, leap to the wagons with clubs and knives. They slug the drivers, beat the guards, and quickly overcame the men on the wagons with the speed and intensity of the attack. The sound of gunplay rang across the plains to three riders on powerful stallions. Hello, that means trouble. Uh huh. If that way. Yeah, sounds like an Indian attack. Follow me. Come on, Silver. Get out the scout. Come on. When the Lone Ranger reached the scene of disaster, a dozen men surrounded a campfire. Some were badly injured, others badly bruised. Get your hands up. We ain't in the mood to beat no more outlaws. Oh, Silver, oh boy, who? Oh. Hey, you heard me. Get your hands up and take off that mask. Put down your gun. I came when I heard the shooting. What happened to your wagons and horses? So you know all about us. I saw the wagon tracks. Here, hold on. Maybe we can get some information from this outlaw. Maybe I'm not can... an outlaw. Did Indians do this? Engines this right. Who are those two riding in here? Hey, another Redskin. That man's a friend of mine, a friend of all settlers. Oh, it's come, 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 come. Right now, I hate all engines. This is the third wagon train the critters have stole. What did you carry? Food. Any of your men need help? We dressed the wounds best we could. Huh? Me take look at wounds. You come, Dan. Help Tonto. Yeah, you better will. I'll bring the saddlebag with the bandages and things. Keep that Redskin away from our men. Don't talk like a fool. Tonto can help them a lot. Now, where was the food going? Now, oh, see here. I don't know why we should answer your question. Now, wait a minute, guard. I like the way these three came in to offer help. I don't know who you are, stranger, but I don't see no harm in telling what you want to know. Thanks. The grub is on the way to the boys that are building the new dam in Spring Valley. That's where the government has a crew at work. That's right. I don't know much about it, The river but has I... been dammed. 
There'll be water for farming the whole valley. Yeah, if the boys in the job don't starve, there ain't no food available there. Did the you food... say Indians attack your train? Yeah. Dirty cutthroats. There are no bad Indians around here. What's that? Indian live in village to north. Indian in storm clouds tribe all good Indians. Plenty friendly Indians. Tonto Nome. Then something has happened to change them. If we could only trail those wagons. Well, there's a town ahead. I think you can reach it by foot. Ah, uh, I ain't walked a mile in the last five years. You walk now several miles. Um, me follow a wagon trail? Ask him, Osabe. But don't do any more than locate the wagons. Ah, uh, not fight, huh? No. Take Dan with you. Teach him more about the way you trail. Oh, golly. I sure do my best to help, Tonto. Ah, uh, we meet you by and by? Yes. Learn what you can, then head for town. I'll meet you there. Where will you go? I want to talk to the United States Marshal. I'll go ahead of you. Well, then, listen. Tell him there's another train of wagons some hours in back of us. If the Redskins get that grub, too, Sam Caldwell and the men working on the dam will be faced with starvation. I'll tell him. Meanwhile, don't take pot shots at any Indians you see. Come on, Silver. At first, the trail of the stolen wagons was easy to follow. The marks of horses' hooves and wagon wheels were not only sunk into the soft ground, but were so clear that Tonto made an observation that perplexed him. Dan, you take a look at footprint here. Yeah, I have been. But what's so strange about it? Well, you study it, then tell Tonto. Uh, let's see. Well, well, maybe you're wondering why some of these men travel on foot from time to time. No, huh? not that. Fellas stop here to water horses. Uh. Well, then I don't see anything unusual about the marks. Well, if Indian make attack... Uh, the driver told us that. Uh, look, me make footprint here, right alongside other footprint. Yeah. And me take long step, regular stride, make other footprint. Now, you study him. Hey, you're wearing moccasins. Ah, uh, like all Indian. These men were wearing boots with heels. That's right. Yeah, but Indians don't wear boots. No. Great day. You mean those weren't redskins at all? Not right. Holy smoke, that's important. Those guards and drivers thought the men were redskins, and they're not at all. Look at length of stride, fella make. Yeah. Hey, he's got to be a big man. Ah. A mighty big man. But boot print, not wide. Footprint, narrow. Yeah, the... then he's tall and skinny, is that right? That's right. Now, now we follow trail some more. You mount up. Easy. <clears throat> Come on, Victor. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> Shortly after Tonto and Dan were underway again, the wagons moved to the dry bed of an old creek where stones retained no tracks. The trailing became a slow process, with much of the time spent on hands and knees, looking for a misplaced stone and constantly studying the banks on both sides of the stream for some sign that the wagons had changed their course. Night came on. With the progress halted, the two took to the saddle and headed for the nearest town. In the meantime... I waited all day for you to get back to your office, Sheriff. The uh, marshal sent me to see you. Mask, eh? What's the idea? Well, this note from the marshal explains. Mm. Oh, great Scott, the Lone Ranger, eh? You've heard about the food robberies. Well, the situation at Spring Valley is critical. The men there must have food. Yeah, there's no one here in town that can be spared. I know it. All the food there is in town would last but a short time. There's a lot of men in the construction camp. Yeah, those ornery redskins... I'd like to take a posse up to Storm Cloud's village and search the place. But you can't. I know, doggone well I can't. Wouldn't take much to start Storm Cloud making war. He's peaceful now, but he's got to be kept that way. There's another wagon train on the way. Yeah? Yes. I want a posse to go with us, to ride with the wagons. Mm, maybe so. The capturing the thieves is less important than getting food to the camp. The next food train must be brought through. Well, I'll see what can be done. Why in Sam Hill is there so much interest in stealing food? What have the Redskins got against the boys in the camp? I don't know, Sheriff. What's come over Stormcloud of a sudden to make his tribe start raiding and robbing? Well, let's get the food through, then deal with Stormcloud. In the rear room of the cafe, the proprietor, Lank Morgan, was in a conference with a well-dressed man called Driscoll. You've done a fine job so far, Link. Thanks, boss. Well, there's just one more wagon train on the way to that construction camp. If your gang can keep that from reaching the builders of the dam... They'll have to leave the job or starve. That's how it stands. And the cattlemen I represent will still have possession of Spring Valley for their cattle. You can depend on it, boss. Them wagons won't get by me, no, sir. Splendid. Well, I'll be going along yeah. now. Better go out this rear door, Driscoll. Yes. The cafe's pretty full. So long.
long, Link. So long, boss. I'll let you know what happens. Good business tonight, eh, Barkeep? Yeah, pretty well filled up. <laughs> Say, Barkeep. What, Link? Who's that engine over there eating supper with the kid? Hmm. I ain't seen him before. Must be a stranger in town. Don't look like any of Stone Cloud's outfit. No, he don't. I never seen him before. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Golly, I'm hungry after that long ride, Tonto. Hey, this food's good, isn't it? Uh. Hey, Tonto, what are you watching that tall man for, huh? Him plenty tall man. Got long stride. Might match steps on wagon trail. Hey, golly, I never thought of that. Uh, you finish supper, Dan. Then wait outside till Lone Ranger come. Well, what are you going to do, Tonto? Let me talk to tall man in back room. Maybe him want to hire Tonto. Work with other Indians. Hey, you Tonto mean you... maybe find out things that way. I'll be outside with Victor when you want me, Tonto. Dan waited outside the cafe with his horse, Victor, for over half an hour. When finally the Lone Ranger joined him, the boy had much to tell. Who oh, silver, oh, boy, oh, oh. Golly, I thought you'd never get here. I have so much to tell you. Uh, where's Tonto, Dan? In the back room of the cafe with Lank Morgan. What's he doing there? Well, when we followed the wagons, we found out the Indians were white men disguised because they wore boots with heels. Good work. And one set of footprints showed a very long stride made by a tall man. A narrow footprint? Yeah. It may be Lank. When Tonto saw that Lank Morgan's a tall man, he thought he might be one of the wagon thieves. So Tonto talked to Lank in the back room. Why? Well, he didn't tell me his plans. I hope Tonto hasn't gone too far on his own. The sheriff's recruiting a posse to ride out to meet the next wagon train. But why not just capture the crooks while they're waiting in ambush? Instead of going up to meet the wagon trains... And... There'd be no evidence against them that way, Dan. They must be caught in the act of robbery. Oh, I see. Well, there's the sheriff now. Keep quiet, Dan. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, I see. Whoa. Hey, hi. hi there. I'm going inside the cafe to line up more volunteers for the posse. Good. We'll be ready to ride in a few minutes. While the sheriff swore in members of his posse, the Lone Ranger and Dan moved along the side of the cafe to the rear door, opening into Lank's office. No one here. A ton on that tall man have gone. But they were here. Wait. Something on the floor. Looks like one of the messages Tonto leaves. Is it? Yes, Dan. Tonto has talked himself into a job with Lank. He hopes to locate the stolen wagons. Yeah, and if they attack... If they attack the next train... Tonto will meet the fire of the sheriff's posse. While Tonto moved into ambush with Lank and his outlaws, Chief Stormcloud came from his teepee at the sound of approaching hooves. By the light of the village fires, he saw one of his scouts who brought startling news. You send scout keep watch. You come to report? Uh, outlaws go to ambush. Outlaws dress like Indians. You know where ambush is? Uh, I know. I see. Outlaws wait there. Other wagon train coming. Once more, our people be blamed for crime of others. This chance to show our innocence. <coughs> Rouse all who sleep. Bring out horses. To horses. Bring guns. We go make prisoners of ones who bring dishonor on us. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. To continue our story, Chief Stormcloud led his tribe to an attack against outlaws who dressed as Indians to waylay wagons loaded with food. Tonto, hoping to get evidence against the outlaws, had joined the gang. 
Lank Morgan, with his men, waited to attack. As near as I can figure, the wagons will stop for the night at that water hole over yonder. We wait here till they stopped and then raid him. Well, Smitty, you take charge of driving off the wagons. Whatever you say, Lank. You're the boss. Now, uh, how about you, Tano? Well, me, new feller in gang. Me not say. You might have an idea, though. Have you? No. Yeah, Lank, I don't know why you took the redskin in with us. We need men. But you don't know nothing about him. How do you know he ain't here to spy on us and find out where we take the wagons? If that's why he's here, I'll know it and I'll make sure. Lank, redskins. Yeah, I am. Hey, boss! Redskins! Stand by, ready to shoot. They're closing in from all sides. I know just where we're hid. You, you're the one who told him. No, me not tell him. Smitty, you come with me. To where? Shut up and come along. You boys fight him while we try to get him from the rear. Lank's men, now without a leader, were surrounded and forced to surrender. Lank and his comrade Smitty drew to one side and concealed themselves beneath dense foliage. They remained quiet until the Indians rode away with many prisoners. Then... Yeah, we made it, Smitty. They didn't get us. Yeah, but those others, our pards, they were all taken. <laughs> sure they were. Even the redskin Tonto, they got him too. Yeah, what of it? You know what they'll do with those men, don't you? They'll torture them to death. All the better for us. Two of us can split the cash. Yeah, but if that next wagon train gets through, there won't be no cash. The two of us can't capture all them wagons. You leave it to me. We'll stop the wagons. They won't get through. We can't move them to where the others are hid. We won't need to. Come on. The wagon train had been brought into a circle as the drivers, reinforced by the sheriff's posse and the Lone Ranger, prepared to make their night's camp. The Lone Ranger drew Dan to one side. Dan, I brought you with me because I didn't know where Tonto was. Yes, sir, I know. And we didn't have time to hunt for him. The fact that you're here is no reason for you to take a hand if fighting starts. Yeah, but you've taught me how to use a gun. You're not to use it tonight. Hmm. All right, then, but... If we're attacked, the sheriff and I will concentrate on capturing the attackers. You'll keep out of sight and out of the way of bullets. Victor will carry you out of danger. Yes, sir. And if we get separated, you got to go back to town and wait there. Is that clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. I understand. Good. I sure hope those critters make a play for these wagons. They'll get the surprise of their lives when they find there's a sight more men than they expect. Yes. But, Sheriff, I want as little gunplay as possible. I said he... I already told the boy. Ah, there's a lot. Great day. One of the wagons is fired. And there's another. There comes the fire arrow. See, it's, it's hit another wagon. There she goes. A dry top cover goes like tinder. Indian arrows. I saw that arrow start. I know where it came from. Dan, stick close to the sheriff. Here, Silver. Is that a big fella? Now wait. We'll go with you. Take care of Dan Reed. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Rider coming at us. Let me get a shot at him. No, you don't. I'll show you. Oh, my hand. Oh. Hello, aren't you? Though the Lone Ranger quickly captured Lank and Smitty, the wagons were beyond salvation, and the precious food was soon consumed by hungry flames. Meanwhile, the campfires of Chief Storm Cloud's village made the night as bright as day. There were many Indians watching as guards over the score of outlaws in their Indian clothes. Among these outlaws, Tonto remained quiet while Chief Stormcloud spoke. For many years, we live in peace. For plenty long time, white settler make no complaint. Indian make no complaint. Now, we on edge of war from settler. You make trouble. What's those redskins saying? You savvy the language. Then tell chief we pay for crime. But, but how? You see, plenty soon. It is rule of tribe that will of majority win. I put to vote. Are they to vote about us? Ah. Hang it all, I wish Lank had come and get us out of this. Is it will of people these men die? <laughs> What Indians say. I don't want to die. Stand. While you stand. No, no. I don't want to die. 
Let me help you get the critters that planned the whole thing. We know... You stand up. Donald, let you me go. stand up. You look prisoner in face. Bring torch. He's going to set fire to us. Him only take a look at us. They'll torture us to death. That's what they'll do. Me see if any face an old storm cloud. Tonto, yeah. no storm cloud. Tonto, you here? Ah, me here, storm cloud. But you, you always good friend. You friend Lone Ranger. That right. What's that? You a friend of the Lone Ranger? Friend of the Lone Ranger? Why, you here with Hubble? Me, me join band. Why? Where Lone Ranger? Me join band to learn where all stolen food go. Speak for the rest of us, Tonto. In the name of mercy, don't let these redskins torture us. Don't let them kill us. Storm Cloud, if you kill outlaw, it not help other people. Outlaw makes sin. Outlaw die. Wait. There other way. There better way. Me know where food and wagons go. Maybe you make outlaw take Indian there. Take all food. Take outlaw into town. That save life of men who need food. We speak to Indian. What is fault? Shall that lord die? We'll show him the cave. We'll show him where the wagons and the food were taken. Indian say you die. You, you talk to him. Tardo, you hear voice of people. Ah, uh, me hear him. You speak. Me speak. Kimosabi, G.J. Tuka, Leme, Mimo, Waga, Mimo. <laughs> Later the same night, the Lone Ranger and Dan were in the sheriff's office. Lank and Smitty were locked in jail at the rear. Lank, why in tarnation don't you confess and have it done with? Do what you mind, the sheriff. I won't be in here long. Who do you think will get you out? I ain't saying. I said I didn't intend to talk, and it still goes. What about Driscoll? I don't know who you speak of. There's a man in town named Driscoll. Didn't he agree to pay you and your men if those wagons failed to reach a construction gang? Mister, I don't know nothing, see? Where are the rest of your men? What makes you think I got any more? Dead blessed it all, Link. Why in tarnation have you got to be so cursed? Now listen, Sheriff. I told you that me and Smitty was riding out to meet the wagons in that train. I told you we seen a couple of redskins firing arrows with flaming tips at the wagons. We jumped them. They knocked us down and got away. That's a pack out and out lies. Eh? Well, that's my story. They knocked us down and got away and left their bows and arrows. Then this man's now break them riding down and captured us. Ain't that the story, Smitty? That's the story. Now, you got to leave us out of this jail, Sheriff. You ain't a shred of proof that we ain't telling the truth. Sheriff, hmm? come over to your desk. Uh, those coyotes. How can I shake that story? Well, I'm afraid you can't. Frank's no fool. He knows hey, that... He ain't no fool. He knows he'll hang if he confesses. His only chance to get out of this is to stick to his lies. Yeah, he's licked us. Licked us at every turn. I'd like to know what happened to the rest of his gang. We must have had more than this. Well, I'm going to find Toto. Oh, that's right. You've been staying here trying to help me while your best friend might be in all kinds of danger. Uh, Lank won't even admit that he hired Toto. Yes, I know it, Dan. I heard you were looking for me, Sheriff. Driscoll. What do you want? Maybe you heard the news. What news? Another wagon train was stopped. This time it was burned. The food was lost. That's too bad. What do you expect me to do about it? We have a couple of your men behind bars. Take a look at them. My men? They're expecting you to try to post their bail for them. That ain't so. I'm sorry, but you seem to have made a mistake. Sheriff, I don't know these men. I... Oh, yes. One of them run, owns the cafe, doesn't he? I've seen him there. So that's your story, Driscoll. You act as if you didn't believe me. I don't. Then, my dear sir, suppose you try to prove otherwise. Dead busted all I know. What? A lot of them. They're riding into town. This is your work, Driscoll. This is the war you stirred up. Get away from that door, Dan. Let me go out. Driscoll, take a gun from that rack. It's us fighting for life now. Wait. Aye, Kimasabi! Tato's in the lead. Tato is riding beside Storm Cloud. Don't open fire. Look, there's wagons, too. Lots of wagons. Wagons? The food wagons. A score or more of them. Like a stampede, the Indian ponies dashed to the sheriff's office, outside of which Silver and Dan's horse, Victor, were hitched. 
Then the wagons, and in each wagon was the outlaws, flanked by armed redskins. It took no more than a glance to show that the food was safe. The wagons were still fully loaded. The loot from all but the last attack was there before the lawman's office. Then men poured into the small office. Indians with guns and outlaws disarmed and disconsolate. Here, all outlaw. Storm cloud make outlaw lead way to cave. Make them bring all food here. So these are the main link hired. Yeah. The ornery double-crossing coyote. He hired us and then left us to die. It was that there engine that saved our lives by persuading Storm Cloud's men to give us a chance. Cotto, you've done a great job. Now there's plenty food for men in camp, huh? Yes. Yeah, full confession. Tonto gets signed by bad men. Confessions? Great day. This is perfect. Confessions, all name Lank Morgan. Fiskin, you gotta do something about this. Hey, Driscoll, help us out. I I don't know a thing about this. Oh, you don't, eh? Well, you're in it now, Driscoll. When crooks get to trying to save their necks by naming their helpers, the whole truth comes out. Come, Come on, now, line him up, there, boys. Sheriff and Stormcloud will take over now. Line him up. Pack him in the jail. You dirty crooks. Driscoll along with him. Then, Stormcloud, I, I hope you'll do us the honor of taking them wagons of food to the boys that are waiting for them. I will send that away. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.